the age of shoes just by looking at them. Here's a new pair and they've got nice laces with little plastic caps on the end that stop them from fraying. These are a different story. The laces are quite old and worn away and on this one the plastic cap's gone completely and the ends are really frayed. The same is true of our chromosomes. They've got caps on the end called telomeres and they also wear away over time. It turns out that this is actually a really important mechanism for cells to know how old they are. So as the telomeres get shorter and shorter, the cells undergo a process called replicate senescence. Essentially, it's sitting there, not dividing, but also damaging the tissue around it. And that's thought to contribute to many of the diseases of older age. But there's an issue. All our cells have telomeres that get shorter as the cells divide but we pass our chromosomes onto our children. So why don't they start off life with really short telomeres? It turns out this is all down to an enzyme called telomerase that's encoded on chromosome five. And telomerase essentially resets the biological clock. Well, this is telomerase. I know it looks ridiculous, but it is actually a very good representation of the enzyme. We know it has a mitten shape, and inside is a template, which allows it to make repeats of DNA. So, we take DNA precursors, add them into the telomerase enzyme, and it simply adds them on to the end of the chromosome. And we have multiple repeats on the end of the chromosome, protecting the rest of the DNA. So this is a fundamental mechanism in germ cells and stem cells. But what happens when it goes wrong? Well, if you don't have enough telomerase, then the telomeres are too short and the cells will age prematurely. On the other hand, if telomerase is switched on in all the cells of the body, they all extend their telomeres. The cells don't know how old they are they will grow and divide all the time and that can give rise to cancer. So telomerase is an incredibly important enzyme. Apart from a few unusual exceptions like onions and fruit flies, it's really well conserved all the way across nature from yeast to humans. And now we know so much more about what it is and how it works. There's the possibility of being able to design new drugs that can target telomerase and allow people to live healthier lives.